Hello everybody and welcome to my updated guide for the Griffin Blazooka. We got a new armor set with Lunastra, and last time I reviewed this weapon I really just showed you a Black Diablo setup that was really fun and very cool looking. This time we're going to be thinking most about how to make this gun as powerful as possible. Let's go ahead and go over the attributes and start analyzing the weapon. The attack value is 330. However, it's really more like 363 because you wouldn't use this weapon without the elementless decoration. That's right, because this is a true elementless heavy bow gun, meaning it has no elemental ammo types. So the attack value is more like 360. It has negative 20% affinity. This is going to affect its normal ammo and its spread ammo. However, it's not going to affect the explosive ammo. Explosive ammo types ignore affinity. It has a small decoration slot. That's nice. A defense bonus of plus 15. That's also nice. The custom mods, you'll notice I went with reload assist, close range up, and close range up. This is all for the wyvern ammo, and you definitely want to take it just like that. You could take a shield mod, right? You can give it one of the close range up mods and go with the shield mod. However, I really feel you don't need that anymore, and this is due to the new Lunastra armor set, which gives you Evade Extender 3, as well as the Temporal Mantle, which came with Lunastra as well. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get to it. Finally, you'll notice the special ammo type is the Wyvern Snipe, and that's what really sets the Griffin Blazooka apart, is that it has the most powerful Wyvern Snipe ammo in the game. Wyvern Snipe travels through the body of a monster, and then it blows up every time that bullet procced inside of the monster's body. So it can deal damage multiple times. And it, it really is a monster killer. Whenever you're fighting something with the long body, like Basil Guse, any uh, Black Diablos, Diablos, Uragon. And honestly, it works even with monsters who have shorter bodies, just because that explosion is so strong, right? It deals tick it deals damage as it travels through the body, but then you also get that explosion. So if you even if you get it to only proc three times, still gonna be a lot of damage, right? Uh, I guess finally I should mention the augmentations, because I know that can be confusing for some people. In this case, we're going to go with health regen. That's because uh, raising the attack value of this heavy bow gun isn't going to change to the wyvern ammo very much. It might help the normal ammo. It might help the uh, uh, pierce ammo, right? However, we really do want the health regen because it pairs so nicely with wyvern ammo. If you get hit, you can actually heal back most of your health with that health regen. And if you're using like the rock steady mantle, you can just stand inside of the monster, uh, you know, spamming the wyvern ammo. And if they hurt you, it doesn't matter. You're going to heal back most of that damage every time you land your shots. So health regen is high priority for augmentation on the Griffin Blazooka. Let's go ahead and move over to taking a look at the ammo types. So as I mentioned, the Griffin Blazooka does come with normal and piercing ammo level 3. Uh, interestingly, they also come with a pretty good reload speed and a pretty good recoil as well. So you can really go crazy with these ammo types if you want. However, because the ammo clips are so small, it's really not worth building for them. Okay, first of all, so I wouldn't really bother building for them necessarily. Uh, and I wouldn't use them unless you had a really good angle on the monster, maybe like with the pierce ammo, because you should be spamming wyvern ammo the entire fight. Like maybe if you just ran out of wyvern ammo and you're waiting for the wyvern snipe to come back then you might use the normal or the piercing ammo right that's like the only time though then you have level one sticky and level one cluster you're never going to use these they don't deal enough damage you have level one recover i don't really use the recover ammo on my heavy bow guns anymore i it's kind of a novel ammo type but it, you know you shouldn't be thinking about that you should just be spamming your best damage against the monster and letting people take care of themselves you have level one poison uh, again really not a big deal you can use it if you want but i think it's more more damage efficient to just go straight to your wyvern ammo. The paralysis ammo is more legit. I would use it if you are on a team of four people, then I would use the paralysis ammo. But if you're by yourself, don't worry about it. Finally, you'll notice you do have that wyvern ammo, which you're going to be using to get all of your damage out, right? That and the wyvern snipe. All right, now that we're done talking about the ammo types, let's move on to talking about the build itself. As usual, I'm going to kind of be talking about what skills I prioritized and why. So the first thing I would say is I have the Zenashiva armor set skill, that spare shot. Spare shots gives you about a 25% chance not to expend ammo when you're shooting it. This is incredibly important for Wyvern ammo, okay? And that's why it's so high priority, maybe the highest priority skill on the build. It's because 
you get five shots of the ammo, and then you're able to craft five more shots. And that means with your radial menu, you'll want to set it up so that you can quickly craft more wyvern ammo, at least five shots of it, right? Uh, and you'll want to bring all the ingredients you need to do that. So 10 shots, but with spare shot, that can get up to like 12 or 14 shots, and that makes it a big difference. Okay, so you'll get about 12, 14 shots of the wyvern ammo, and you'll be mixing in the wyvern snipe, the special ammo, as you go as well. So the, the two of them combined are where all of your damage come from, right? You're not going to be getting a lot of damage from your normal shot. You're not going to be getting a lot of damage from your pure shot, unless maybe you're fighting a monster with a really long body. So spare shot is top priority. After that, I would say artillery and non-elemental boost is where you're getting most of your extra damage, uh, particularly artillery. Artillery is really going to affect the wyvern ammo, so make sure you get all three levels of artillery on the build. If you don't have three decorations, which I know all of you don't, you can swap up to just using a charm. You don't have to have focus on this build. I just use it so that I can use Wyvern Snipe more often, but the artillery skill is far more important, so make sure you get artillery three. After that, you'll notice I have the special ammo boost as well. And again, those decorations can be a little rarer, but if you can get those onto the build, that would be terrific. If you don't, Wyvern Snipe is still going to be really strong. So notice I have Focus 3 and Special Ammo Boost together, and that helps the Wyvern Snipe a lot. After that, I would say the Evade Extender 3 is actually pretty high priority here. It's going to allow you to chase the monster down faster while your equipment's drawn. It also allows you to get out of the way of their attacks better, which is why we're not really considering a shield mod and the shield skill anymore, because Evade Extender is going to help you move around, and it's so efficient because of the Empress Crown, that's the new Lunastra Helmet. So that's why we're finally using Evade Extender on our Heavy Bowgun builds. And after that, you just have a little squeeze in a round room. You'll notice I got the normal shots decoration on. This gives me a 10% increase in damage on my normal shots, which I mostly won't be using that. Okay, and then I also have health boost, which I could have done something entirely different. Like I could have gone with four ranks of the attack decorations, but again, I didn't really want that. I like health boost just because it's going to make me more tanky, more survivable. And, uh, you know, I like to think that I never die, but hey, one of the reasons why I don't die is because I make choices like that. I make choices to have health boost in the case where where yeah, I don't really need anything else on the build, right? Like I could have a little more damage on the build or I could have health boost. And I went with health boost. All right, and that's the build for the Griffin Blazooka. Uh, basically, when you're fighting monsters with this weapon, you wanna be careful that you aim it in such a way that you're not blowing your teammates away from their target, especially if the monster's been knocked down. You can accidentally knock away teammates who were dealing great damage. And if you're doing that, you're really losing out on a lot of damage. So you, it takes practice, and you probably will make mistakes. But the trick is really to aim for the part of the monster's body that's away from your teammates. Take your time, and they, they'll kind of learn to recognize it too. I think players will learn to recognize that you're spamming the wyvern ammo. So they're going to be a little more careful to stay away from you as well. One of the tricks that I use is I try aiming the ammo up into the monster. Uh, specifically, if they have like big wings, you can aim the ammo up into the monster. And then you're not really attacking any of your teammates in the horizontal area on the ground. Unless they're standing really close to you. I've noticed if they're really close to you while you're aiming straight up, they can still be affected by it, but you're not going to hit somebody who's like standing across from you, if that makes sense, right? So aiming up into the monster's wings pretty effective when they're knocked down. Sometimes it's effective to run over to like the tops of their wings or the tip of their tail. That'll work as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter where you hit the monster on their body. You're going to be dealing about the same damage anywhere you go. One of the special things about Wyvern Ammo is that it tends to break monsters' body parts pretty quickly. And it tends to KO them pretty quickly as well. It's a really powerful aim type and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. And then if you're running out of wyvern ammo and you're in a really long fight with the monster, be sure that you have a far caster with you. A far caster is a consumable item that you can eat to go back to the camp even when you've been aggroed by the monster. Normally you can't go to camp while you're in combat, right? Well, far caster will just take you out of combat. You can jump into the tent, grab more wyvern ammo, and usually I never have to do this, right? If you're using the wyvern snipe correctly and getting all of your damage out on the wyvern snipe and you use, you know, you don't miss any of your wyvern ammo shots, you usually have all the damage you need to kill the monster. And, and you can even use a few shots of the normal ammo, you can use a few shots of the pierced ammo, especially when the monster is in just the right position, right? Uh, you know, like if you have the monster, they've been knocked down, their body's all sprawled out on the floor, you've already used your wyvern snipe 
and your you know your teammates are gathered around around the monster's head you can use your pierce ammo at that point that's a great time to use pierce ammo right so just be very mindful and it takes a little bit of practice but it's really one of the most powerful heavy bow guns in the game in my opinion it kind of ties with teostro's flames and with the tarot the salt horn however it's the best at using wyvern snipe and i'm a big fan of that ammo type so if you really like it as well i recommend giving the griffin blazooka a try all right, well, that's everything I have to say about the Griffin Blazooka. I'm going to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.